Hey YouTube, uh, so if you have these uh, top band prismatic 25 amp hour lithium iron phosphate cells from Battery Hookup, I came up with a real simple way to make really cheap bus bars. So this is a piece of solid 14 gauge copper wire. You know, just the, the stuff you get from the hardware store. You, get, you can get like 14 and 12 and stuff like that. The 14 is just real easy to work with. It has a 15 amp current rating. So these are 25 amp cells. And if you don't plan on, you know, going past 1C for any extended periods of time, then you can use this if you double it up. So what I came up with is this, All right? And I'm gonna show you how to make that. So there's so there'll be two paths for the uh, current to flow. So 15 amps plus 15 amps, this will give you 30 amps total. Super simple. So just take two of the cells. Uh, you're gonna wanna make sure that you uh, tape one side of the terminals so you, you don't short anything out in this process. So you take your length of the solid wire, clip your piece off, and you, you're just going to make a hook on one side, like so, just like that. Then use the two terminals of the two batteries and just bend it around. that and that's why you want the tape on those because if you contacted that you're gonna have a spark fest all right so now you end up with this right and then all you do is you cut right down the center there and now you have the ring and of course you want to Use your pliers, kind of straighten it out a little bit. All right. So it's just like a link on a, like a chain link almost. You do have that gap right there, but uh, it's no big deal as long as you use a good washer. So you'll, you know, I usually kind of spring it together to close that gap really well. But uh, I don't have any washers and nuts yet. I've got to grab some at the hardware store. Um, <clears throat> but if you put a washer down first and then you know you put your nut down, you'll be able to tighten that down without that, uh, without that coming loose, without that opening up, I guess, so to speak. And that, that's good for 30 amps now. Anyways, that was just a little quick video for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I've got a pack I'm building up with these, and we're going to do a capacity test in a video coming up real short. We'll see you then.